We are here with John Iannazzo at Liberty Wall Covering. And yes, what is your name, sir? John Iannazzo. John Iannazzo also. And I think this is pretty wonderful. I've known you since you were really little. How old are you now? I'm 10 now. Are you 10? Mm -hmm. It was really interesting. Mm -hmm. Here we are on Lines on Design and we're talking about windows and wall coverings and shades. Mm -hmm. And the first thing I saw was someone driving in today and you were hauling out a giant box and helping him in the car. That was very cool. So do you now work here and learning the the trade, if you will, about windows? Not yet, but I would like to. You would like to? Oh, that sounds a wonderful. Bit, a little bit here He's really good. You know, one of the things we wanted to talk to, and thank you for letting John be on today, is child safety. And you are going to be in fifth grade? Mm -hmm. I can't even believe it. <clears throat> is child safety something that your dad teaches you about with the blinds? Um, sometimes, yeah. Exactly. And talk to us a little bit, if you will, grown up John, well, about child safety. We've talked about child safety before. Yes. But we never actually had a child, a child on with us. <laughs> and you're, a, you're sort of more than a child. You're almost yeah, an adolescent. Yeah, he's, I'd say, out of the range where we, things, have, to worry. we have to worry about cords yep. and whatnot. But I thought it was a good demonstration because there are a lot of things that have been done and there are more things coming yes. to make shades safer. You know, things like mm -hmm. short cords, you don't have the shades anymore when you raise the blind, you have the cord dragging down, that mm -hmm. could be a potential hazard. You know, it's we, funny, in my old, I've looked at old shades, mm -hmm. and now when I see the old cords and even try to pull them up, it makes me wonder how we even did that. Yeah, right. Technology, I know. it's, it's on, on everything and now. It's, it's we have different options on on everything to make them more child safe. Well, let's talk safety here, and then I want to talk technology for a couple of minutes yes. if we can. We can definitely do that. All right. So talk to me about the cording and what that looks like, especially when it it, it pertains to kids. We are seeing less long cords. So this cord is called Ultra Glide. Okay, and what this does is this is a retractable cord. So if I hold this one up, okay. Instead of the cord getting longer each time, every time you operate the shade. The cord retracts nice and short. Okay. We're now getting away from even this length cord into a wand. John, can you show the purple pirouette? Can you pull that one? That one is done with a wand. So it's a oh, decorative wand as opposed to a cord. And let it retract all the way back up. So that oh way, my gosh. even this shade, even this, you know, this wand, yes. it, it, it can't wrap around anything. It can't get caught in anything. Is that hard to do? Um, no. Can you Not lower it? Can pull it out towards you. Oh, little bit, there you go. Now let it retract. Oh. And this is actually new too. This isn't child safety, but it's called slip clutch. Okay. So you used to have to worry about bottling these cords out and yes. potentially breaking something. Yes. Now, now you really can't do that anymore. It will keep going. So oh. it's even harder for people to break. Oh my gosh. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. I was very that excited to see that. That is amazing, actually. Yeah. And I love the lavender. You I'm like so color? away from my all white now. I, I know. We do some I know. Different colors. I, exactly. All right. From another child safety. What's another one? What if I keep looking at that one, that blue one. That's really pretty. Can you raise that one? The duet light rise. Light rise, yes. So no cords at all. Oh, wait, I can even do this one. Up. Can this one go upside down too? Um, can this I one go upside down? So. Well, top down. I mean top down. Oh. Upside down, See, top can, down, whatever. Yeah. I love like this. So again, you have no cords. When the shade's See? all the way up, no cords. When the shade's down, no cords. Oh, that is amazing. And that's an easy one to manage, That's too. a really easy one, yes. Uh, you have to be able to reach the top of the window. So in this case, if he wanted to put the shade all the way up, it's a little out of his reach. So the Ultra Glide with oh, the retractable okay. wand is often the better bet so you can reach the top of the window. Can you do that one, John? This one? Uh -huh. yeah, pull it straight down. There you go. You Perfect. got it. Perfect. So these really are pretty user-friendly, aren't they, they? They really are, yeah. They've come a long way to make them nice and easy to use, just like this. There oh, that's go. cool. Right. John, I have a question for you. Yes. Um, oh. Oh, which John. one? Which yeah, one? John and John, I we, have a question have for both of you. Exa oh, do you have yeah. this problem at home a lot? Yeah. Yes, exactly. One of the things that I think can be intimidating for people, I just had a client, and you were with me, mm -hmm. um, on Lighthouse Road, and we were talking a lot about blinds and what to do, and I kept saying, uh, power. Yes. Okay, what's it called? Power view. Power view. And most of my clients that are, and I'm 64, that are a little bit older, are like, oh, I'm really hesitant about that. But I've been educated a lot by you, and it's funny, John, by you also. Talk to me about Power View, how it works, and why it isn't intimidating. Which one? 
me or him? You start uh, and then you demonstrate. <laughs> well, he's going to grow up <laughs> in this world where everything is automated. You know, power shades will mean nothing to him by the time he's correct. He's growing up. Where to a lot of people, it is still new technology, and it's well, it's still fairly new. Mm -hmm. um, but it's it's pretty easy. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's really nothing that's that difficult to do. It can be done with a remote. So we have actually two motorized options. Okay. The Power View or the Smart Shade. So you can do it with a remote. You can actually do it with a a tablet, and we have to get back in here. We go. Okay. So you you have you know you can do it with your smartphone or the tablet. You know mm -hmm. different scenes, different settings, or you can use uh, like an Alexa or Google Home. All right. Can John? you do, can you do the Alexa for me? Uh, which one do you want to do? Raise the shades. Alexa, turn on all up. Okay. Whoa! Oh, that was fun. So yeah, really anybody can master this technology. It's pretty easy to do. Even I think I could do that. Or if you don't want to use your tablet or your phone, you want to keep it simple, but you don't want to have cords and strings, because it is the most child safe option, because then there okay. are no cords at all. Okay. You can use the Pebble remote, and that's pretty easy. All right, how does this work, John? This is a Pebble remote, and I like the colors that it comes in because I would definitely lose it. Mm -hmm. So how does this work? E, um, so you can... So does each, say, is each shade a number? Yeah. Okay. But some of them are doubled up, so if we do one and open? We'll do number three since we can see that on camera. Oh, I see number one, though. We just did number one. Gosh, I'm sorry. You guys can't see it because it's really pretty cool. <laughs> do number three or four. Three and open. Did you light three up? There, there you, you go. go. Oh, look at this. Oh, and I tell you what, you said that the, the technology within these is really pretty sophisticated. Um, it does work. It does, yes, it works very, very well. We have a newer one called um, Soft Touch, which is a simple motor. So we can't do all the programming with the iPad, doesn't work with Alexa, but it's actually wand controlled. Oh. What does that mean? That means there's a wand, like on the pirouette we looked at, or yes. the duet. Instead of having to pull a cord, you just give it a little tap, and it raises the shade, pull it down, it lowers the shade. That's why I brought this over. How do you do that? Wow. How do, is, it, is that something that's coming out now? No, we can get it on most, or it is here it's now. It's here now, yeah. So on. who would be more likely to use each one of these? Again, at 64, my parents are 90, mm -hmm. and you're how old? Ten. Ten. Okay, there's a huge discrepancy in age, and I would imagine in um, what I think I can manage in a shade. So how do you, what would you recommend for... Where to put PowerView? Yes. Uh, everywhere, actually. Okay. I don't have PowerView at my house. Okay. And, and I, I wish we did, and at some point one day we will get that changed. Because in the winter, when it's not when it's really cold out, we don't leave those windows shut. But when it's a little cool in the morning, okay. four windows across the front of the house, two are in his room, two are in the guest room. If I open those blinds up, we get the morning sun. It kind of warms the house up enough. The heat doesn't need to kick on. Do you know how many days a week I open those blinds? How? None. I'm getting him ready for school, getting the dog, trying to get to work. I never take the two minutes it would take me less to than two minutes. To walk over there. To walk over, open. And they're just traditional uh, Everwood. Oh, I love alternative those. Alternative wood blinds. Yes. Yeah. They're real simple, clean. I never do it. In the back of the house, we have two really large duets. We have two okay. big windows. We get the afternoon sun. Oh, ooh, room, and that gets hot. It's, in the summer, it, gets, it heats up the couch and the floor yeah. and the table. And once that solar heat, once all that sun shines on everything all day long, it heats everything up. So even after the sun's gone, the table's still hot. It's still throwing off mm -hmm. heat. Heats the room up all night long. So those shades stay down more than I would like them to. Oh, shit. Last night, yeah, shades were down. We got home. We, they were down. When we got home. Cause I put them down in the morning. Okay. And then I forgot about it. Yeah, forgot about over it, here going. Yeah. And forgot about uh -huh. it. Uh huh. And I mentioned, uh, I mentioned that you know, let's put the shades up to see the sunset. Exactly. But it was too late. The sunset was already gone. Oh. So oops. we missed. We missed the the nice pretty colors in the sky. If they were. Come stand over here by me so I can see you. If they were power we view. We would make sure everybody sees you. Uh huh. The shades would go up by themselves. So. As soon as the sun was clear, if we know the sun clears that window 7.30, yep. the shades would go up at 7.30. You know, 8 o'clock in the morning when the sun's hitting the front of the house, we want to warm everything up, the blinds could open on their own. It's really fun. It's really fun for John and I to talk, and Susan's over here too, because we are our own best clients, and I will say that that we really are. Your dad talked me into putting in the shades in the back of the hat for my the, mom and the dad. The woven wood vertical draperies. They're wo oh yeah. my God. They're Isn't woven nice? wood vertical draperies. They're fantastic. But at 64, I can manage them. What's really interesting is my mom and dad 
can get up and open and close them. Yeah, they slide so easy. It has made the biggest difference. And no cords, so child and safe. Child safe. Because you have um, uh, 20 9, grandkids. 9,000 grandchildren. Nine, yeah. Exactly. I love it. Thank you for coming on. It's really nice to have you come on. It's <coughs> nice to see. Oh, he's, you're so grown up now. I'm really impressed. And going to cool camps, too, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, thank you all for joining us here on Lines on Design. There's a lot more to come.